John Walker Lind is set to be a free man once again. The first American-born detainee in the war on terror was taken into custody in late 2001. American citizen, right? Yeah. Well, right now, you're a prisoner. All right. Lind grew up in a San Francisco suburb, converting to Islam when he was 16. Documents based on interrogation say Lind went to Pakistan in 2000 and trained with a radical Islamic group. He later moved to Afghanistan and became a member of the Is Taliban. Is this what you thought it would be? Was, was this the right cause or the, the right it's place? Exactly what I thought it would be. Lind was sentenced to prison for 20 years, serving 17 of them. He won't be able to access social media on his own. He won't be able to have his own email address. Um, and he probably will have some limitations in terms of even who he might be able to meet with. Some are calling for an investigation into comments Lind allegedly made in support of ISIS during his incarceration. Is this guy still the same al-Qaeda member that we put in jail? If he's still the al-Qaeda member we put in jail, then we need to throw the plea agreement away and do something else. If he was trying to reconnect with extremists while in prison, I mean, what can we expect for him when he's in the free world? I'm John Lawrence reporting.